All right, all right, all right. We're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at Mobile Gaming with every time. Let's get into some Glass Royale today on the mini account YT and Clan Battle. If you have been a long time subscriber of this channel, you would know his real name is Lil Soul. What we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be getting into some live battles. It is going to be a ton of fun. And at the end of this episode, we will be opening up this legendary chest. But before we do do any of that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Show your support to the channel. And let's get right into it. Heading into this first match. Let's see what we can do against this level 10. We still are that fresh. And I mean fresh. Level 8. We're going to drop guards for this princess. Unfortunately, she does get two shots up. Don't really want to play anything else. He's going to drop a skeleton army, which I'm not too worried about. We will send in the musketeer to help out with the skeletons, though. Saw a little bit of lag there. Didn't think we should have really taken any damage. Let's now send in the lava hound. He did just use his princess. He did just use his skeleton army. So let's see what else he's going to back this up with. Pekka. Oh god, that is a big P.E.K.K.A. So let's drop a tombstone right here along with that. We will also send in a mega minion. We could have sent in a miner to help out with the ice wizard, but I would rather deal with the thing that could possibly eat my tower up for breakfast. Now let's send in the miner on this ice wizard. Princess is actually locked on to nothing, which is fantastic. Now we do have the skeleton army, which is absolutely obliterating all of our units because of the fact of the distract destroy method with the arena tower so we're able to take no damage from the skeletons which is super solid he is up on us but he did start with a lot more hit points so i'm not too worried about it so now we're going to set up with another musketeer in the back and again he did just use his skeleton army so i don't need to worry about them swarming my musketeer he's going to send in another ice wizard i almost want to send in my lava hound but i don't and i'm glad i didn't only for the fact that we could have really we could have really suffered some serious heat from the uh, the good old fashioned I don't know the lava hound might have been good to be able to tank with but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop guards on top of the electro wizard along with a mega minion and we should be able to shut all of this down along with that we will also send in the miner on the tower which will be nice now hopefully he doesn't drop his princess if he does he's gonna send in the skeleton army which is fine we will arrow that and the princess mega minion does connect to the tower and that is what we needed now that it's double elixir we will be able to send in the lava hound knowing we can't play some solid defense on top of that so let's get that started lava hound in the back he does also have a big push of his own the big pack up let's drop a musketeer right here to help out with the goblin barrel she should stay behind the uh, the lava hound which will be nice for air tanking along with this we will drop guards and a baby dragon just to be able to help out with any splash units also we do have not another lava hound we want to send in the arrows right now for the skeleton army beautiful able to do all that hopefully take out this big pack yes we're able to keep the musketeer alive as well musketeer baby dragon minor lava hound i mean this is just catastrophe for this guy we're gonna drop guards right here we're able to take out that left tower he is a level 10 we are a level 8 and we are dominating the players they cannot handle the heat of this best lava hound deck in the game we're getting into another one ck gamers who we're going against let's see what we can do against him another level 10 again we are that level 8 Let's see what we can do. Let's set up with a Musketeer in the back right. I'm expecting Elite Barbarians or Hog Rider. Let's see what we get to deal with. Mega Minion is also going to go down because I want to cycle through. Hopefully see a Tombstone soon. Unfortunately, he's not showing us too much lightning. Good thing we held off. Now, yes, he got some serious value. So now he's up on us by about 700 hit points, which is incredibly tough to swallow. But we're going to be able to come back from this. I'm not too worried about it. Let's drop a Miner on this Night Witch. Hopefully get the baby dragon to be able to get tanked for it. And along with this, we will arrow the skeletons and the bats. So we're able to do a little bit of damage like that. He does have an executioner. We are able to take out the night witch, which is all we really needed to do. And now we can distract. Sure enough, what do you know? There's that freaking hog rider. Let's up guards right now for the executioner. Along with that, a mega minion. Oh, man. That executioner was not supposed to get a shot off on my skeletons. We just took some serious freaking heat from that executioner hog rounder combo let's see what we can do now what we want to do here is build up a solid push and then send it forward down the right lane and take out that tower let's see if we're going to be able to do that double elixirs close but not super close let's send in a musketeer right now he does have the lightning which is devastating destructive to our tower so let's jump in lava hound right now 
Let's hopefully get rid of this Night Witch ASAP. Beautiful. Able to do that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to send in a Baby Dragon. Executioner locks on to Lava Hound. And now what we're going to do is we're going to... He's going to Lightning, which is fine with me. Let's Miner this right here. Beautiful. Executioner does get distracted. Miner's tanking for Lava Pups, and that's exactly what we needed. One Lava Pup does survive with the Miner. Able to get some decent damage done. Not a ton. But decent, and he did use his, his lightning on defense, which is very costly. So let's drop Tombstone, along with that Musketeer and Guards. We want to deal as much damage to this Hog Rider as possible. Send in another Miner on the tower. Hopefully distracts Executioner. It does. Fantastic. That's exactly what we needed to see. Mega Minion, Musketeer, Baby Dragon. Does he lightning is the question. He does. He's very scared of us, folks. He knows we are a force to be reckoned with. And now we can drop around a tower knowing that we're protected because he does not have the lightning. So we're going to drop a musketeer right here. And then along with that, we are also going to be sending in the good old-fashioned lava hound. And a tombstone right here for that hog rider. Along with this, we're also going to send in some good guards to help distract, destroy, and hopefully get rid of this executioner now. Miner should tank for the lava pups. We will throw another set of arrows to hopefully do some extra damage. He does have the lightning, which he might use on my musketeer, which would be good for him, bad for us. He's going to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a baby dragon right here. And along with that, we will wait and we will wait and we will wait. Okay, so I think we should be able to send in a miner comfortably to help with that tower takedown. So let's send in that right now, along with that, a set of arrows. And hopefully, he drops a miner. Miner? He doesn't drop a miner. He drops a log. Hopefully, we can still do some solid defense. Let's get a tombstone down. Along with that, a baby dragon. Let's get another miner in the mix. We shut down the hog rider. Miner, baby dragon, arrows. Oh, baby. Baby dragon takes out that right tower. That's what we like to see. This deck is dominating. Dominating. This freaking match is hyped up we're going in with zero skull we're gonna do a 2v2 match why not we're definitely feeling the love from this deck let's see if we can continue that let's show him we want to play the lava hound right now see what he's gonna back it up with he's gonna drop a furnace which is interesting along with this let's drop a mega minion uh i would love to see yes a log beautiful and now we do have this lava hound moving in though so yeah it did do some decent work to our right tower about 800 hit points but now we can send in something even dirtier, which is the Lava Hound Graveyard. Along with this, we also do have arrows for this skeleton army, if they would ever, ever freaking deploy. He drops a freeze, drop the freeze. Oh, just a little too late there, bud. Unfortunately, we're not able to capitalize on that freeze and basically just helped him build up an even deadlier push. So now we have all this to worry about. And there's that hog rider we knew was coming. So we got cannon tombstone now. Two defenses for one hog rider. How can you beat it? Now we got all this moving in. Oh, he's got zero elixir too. Perfect. Hopefully we see a decent goblin gang. We're going to drop a mega minion baby dragon combo for this. Not take a ton of damage actually. Able to hold off solid. And hopefully we can take out that left tower. Baby dragon does get one breath off. Which is not too bad at all. Let's also drop a Musketeer right here for these Fire Spirits just to make sure they don't get any damage up. Hopefully he's ready to deal with the units on the right because I have absolutely nothing to help you out with. All I can do is... Oh, man! Did you not see my freaking arrows? Oh, good lord. Now we have Executioner Bowler on our freaking tower, which is only disgusting. Let's drop a Miner on that Goblin Hut and see what we can do now. So Miner is working on the Goblin Hut. We did activate the King Tower, which is even more delicious. So, yeah. Hopefully we can send in a better graveyard. We're down by about 1,000, 1,100. Basically about 1,100 tower-wise. Let's have guards right here along with this. Should we go to the right? I don't know. He's got a deadly poison on us. Let's just drop a Lava Hound in front of all this. Might as well try to back it up. He's probably... He drops a Wizard to the right, which is interesting. He's going to... We send in the graveyard. Let's see if we can get a good freeze, man. If you can get a good freeze going, we could be really set up for success. Oh my god, that was a beautiful freeze. I could not be more happy with that freeze. That was a phenomenal freeze. Along with all of that, Baby Dragon Lava Pups able to actually almost take out the tower. We do need to deal with this wizard over here. Unfortunately, he does tornado, and he's actually unable to take out the tower. Oh my good god. So he's up on us. 
is with this poison, but we should be able to defend. We should be able to defend. So let's have another baby dragon. And let's see what we can do. He's going to send in another graveyard, which is fine with me. Let's arrow everything. Let's see if we can get a decent freeze going, man. Let's see if we can get a decent freeze going here, man. Baby dragon's still doing work to the tower, and that's what we love to see. Musketeer, stop it right now. Musketeer takes out that tower. I'm telling you, this deck is good for any kind of match. I think this is a good spot to end this episode. Don't worry, we're still going to open up this legendary chest, but we are at an all-time high with this account with that dominating lava hound miner deck i'm going to show it to you guys one more time 32 38 baby here is that deck one more time for you guys i know you wanted to check it out let's go open up this legendary chest all right opening up this legendary chest what could we want i i don't want to switch my deck up so i'd want either a lava hound or a miner because those are the legendaries that i am using so let's hope we get something absolutely phenomenal right now oh baby what is it gonna be we get the minor oh man yes 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 and yes minor halfway to level three i would love to get my minor to level three that is absolutely phenomenal we pick up one mean miner at the end of this episode and we got to an all-time high so much hype is around this deck and that is why i do love using it but with that being said all my social media handles are right below me links for those are down in the description check them out and as always thank you for watching subscribe down below and i'll catch you all in the next episode